our game Blessed Morning Bro. Blessed Morning Chris. I'm glad you're here. Uh, before we proceed, Mama, but let's stand once again and let's read our worship declaration. Today, I will listen to God's word. It empowers me by instructions and corrections, giving me the strength to take the right direction and lead me deeper into the path of godliness. It was sent so I may be complete and equipped to every good work to serve men to glorify God. Once again, we pray, Mga Kapadid. Our Heavenly Father, we continue to acknowledge your holy presence this morning, O oh God. May you continually lead us from your own goal sa mga oras na ito, Lord God. Lord, we ask you to prepare our hearts, our minds. May our focus be on you, to your word only, O oh God. Um, we rebuke every distractions, every words of the enemies in Jesus' name, O oh God. At patuloy paginoon ko na let your people accept your word today, O oh God. And let, may you help us to apply this in our daily lives as your followers. Thank you, Lord, to your life's glory, honor, and grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, itap mo nga yung palikat ng tabi mo. Tap the shoulder of your... Then say, intensify. So, pang ilang buwan na tayo is here. Ninth month. So, what does intensify mean? Matatanda ko ba natin? Sa so, walong buwan na luman? So, intensify means more serious, more extreme, stronger, increase, strengthen. So, ilan na yung itinuro sa atin ng Lord? Intensified prayer. Intensified love. What's next? Intensified discipleship. Intensified this evangelism. Intensified compassion. Intensified commitment. Intensify worship. In our song, is that? Well, so this new year, mga kapatid, our team is intensified. And this month, our main verse or key verse will be is in First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20. Do you have your Bible with you? So yan daw po yung uh, entrance, ano natin, uh, ano daw dito? Yan daw yung bagay para mapasok tayo sa church. Dapat daw yung Bible tayo. So meron ba? Do you have your physical Bible with you or your Bible up? Oh, sige. Basahin na lang natin. First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20, let us read. So bakit sinabi ni Apostle Paul, why Apostle Paul said it to the Corinthians back then? Because there were people, arrogant people, who gave pretentious speeches. They considered themselves wise. Rich. But Paul said, for the kingdom of God is not not just a lot of talk. So, hindi para niya ng alam, mga kapatid. Para niya ng kayang sabihin. It is living by God's power. Sino ang God's people dito? Belong to God's people. So mga kapatid, God's, is God's power works in our lives? So yun yung tanong. 
That's the question. Pero hindi po tayo na magbubukas. Let us open our Bible on Luke chapter 9, verses 1 to 2, then jump to verse 6. Verse 1, One day Jesus called together his small disciples and gave them power and authority to cast all demons and to heal all sick diseases. Verse 2, Then he sent them out to, the, to tell everyone about the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Then John put us in verse 6, so they began their circuit of the villages, preaching the good news and healing the sick. And let's open also our read also Luke chapter 10 verses 1 to 8 and 17 to 20. Verse 1 of Luke 10, the Lord now chose 72 other disciples and sent them ahead in pairs to all the towns and places he planned to visit. Verse 2, there were his instructions. Words instruction to them. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Verse 3. Now go and remember that I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Then John put us some verses 17 to 20. Verse 17, when the 72 disciples return. They joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Verse 18, yes, he told them, I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Verse 19, look, I have given authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. Verse 20, but don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your name is are registered in heaven. So brothers and sisters, in this text, God wants us to intensify our response to Him. Response? Bakit? Bawat isa ba sa atin, tinawag? Yes? Hindi lang po ang iba sa atin tinawag para maging and the wind has come on to. Still it is. So, sabi po, God's people intensify. Sabi mo nga ulit sa sarili mo, sa katabi mo, intensify. Intensify. Para malam niya. Tumain na ba kayo, mga kapatid? Have you eaten your breakfast? May your energy? Let's proceed. So, let us intensify our response to God because of these four things or truths. Number one is we're, we were called by God. Or we are called by God. Sabi mo sa tabi ko, you are called by God. So, sabi sa Luke chapter 9 verse 1, one day, Jesus called together his twelve disciples and gave them power and authority to cast out all demons and to heal all diseases. So mga kapatid, ito po ang nila nagpapatukot sa mga disciples ng Panginoon Bakit? Hindi sa atin dito. So, misan ba, do you have doubts? Lord, why me? Diba nag-ibibat ako, Lord, ba? Why me, Lord? But remember this. The God who called us is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-present God. King of kings, Lord of lords. So ngayon, paano ang response mo? What if the president of the Philippines give you a task. Call you. Siguro, grabe yung ano natin, effort natin, no? Kasi syempre, si Bumbong yan eh. Si Bumbong yan eh. Pero ang Lord, bakas mataas kay Bumbong? Yes. So, He's the one who called us. And sa 
sabi sa Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to preach for people. So, not only is this a call to, that Jesus makes to Peter and Andrew, but also to each one of us. Kaya mga kapatid, remember that God has a purpose to each one of us. God has a plan to each one of us. We have certain tasks to do, to accomplish. At ang, kailang, ang kailangan ng Lord hindi lang basta gawin natin, kundi weak, intense, more intense. Yan ang intense mo yun. Then the number two, we're given power and authority. One day, Jesus called together his 12 disciples and gave them power and authority to cast out all demons and to heal all diseases. So maybe you'll ask yourself, Lord, why me? I'm not smart. I'm not talented. But did you notice that God doesn't call those who are, who are already equipped? Hindi niya tinatawag yung mga matatalino talaga? Yung mga skill, maraming skills? But when God called and one of us say yes. That's the point that God will equip us to do or with those things we need for His glory. Hindi ba? Kapag sinabi ko, yes Lord, susunod ako mag-respond sa Lord. That's the time na hindi bigay sa'yo ng Lord kung yung kailangan mo para magawa mo kung yung pinapagawa niya. Hindi ba mga kapatid, just that God's power Would you imagine na narating pala yung oras na magpapaawit ka? Samantalang sa dati mong buwan, hindi ka nga kumakata sa video ako, okay, di ba? Would you imagine yourself playing keyboard for the glory of God? Would you imagine yourself singing praises and worships to God? Kung sa akin yung glory, hindi tayo para sa glory mo. So God gave us power and authority. Even to the power of the enemy. In Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. So mga kapatid ito, hindi po Literally. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid, we have the power over the sea. Kaya hindi mo pwede sabihin na ito, sir, ayuan mo ako. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, tao lang ako, marupok. No, you have given power and authority. Where are you at? Sabihin natin na kumin tayo ng sin. Ano yung dapat na initial na gagawin natin? Repent! Hindi yung mag bababad pa tayo dun sa kasalanan, tinambayan pa natin. paalala rin ang Panginoon. So, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 3. Don't 
lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. So, we have a authority, mga batid. So, di naman po natin ang sun. Kung tayo ay leader, don't lord it over sa mga tao na sasagutan niyo. But lead them by your own good example. Kaya nga napakalaga ng testimony natin, mga kapatid. Ingatan natin. Kasi baka mamaya yan yung iba rin sa atin. And the number three is percent. Basahin niya po natin mga kapatid sa Luke chapter 9 verse 2. So after God called us, equipped us, He sent us. In Luke chapter 10 verse 1, basahin po muli natin mga kapatid. So hindi tayo pinag-isa ng Lord. I mean, pinag-iisa. I mean, yung alam lang pa tayo. Di ba pag tayo ay mag-evangelize, dapat dalawa, mayroong isang intercessor. So mga kapatid, sa, in our Christian lives, God gave us brothers, our brothers, our sisters, our spiritual leaders to help us. Kaya mga kapatid, wala tayong dahilan. Lord, bakit mo naman ako sinend na agad? Alalahanin natin mga kapatid, lahat ang kailangan natin, God will provide it. If our heart to obey Him, to follow Him, is nandoon po mga kapatid. Pero matatakot ba kayo pag inasa nyo? Luke chapter 10 verse 3. So sabi ng Lord, I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Mga tupa sa gitna ng mga asong buwan. So anong ibig sabihin nito mga kapatid? Hindi basta-basta yung battlefield. The enemy has a purpose. Anong sabi sa John 10 verse 10? Anong ang gusto niya? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. So kung ang Tupad ang Panginoon ay lalabya-alab niya. Tuwing linggo lang nagbubuklat ng Bible, tuwing kakain lang nagpipray, tapos nagbumit pero di naman ginagawa, tapos puro sa hili lang ang iniisip. Imagine this mga kapalilang sa among wolves. So, alam nyo naman, di ba, kung anong itsura na wolves? Ano yung kakayaan nila? So, ganun din mga kapatid, consider natin that the enemy is like wolves. Nandiyan sila 24-7. Nag-aabang sila ng masisilo at malalapa. So, kung hindi natin ina-apply yung mga natutunan natin for the past eight months, hindi man lang tayo nag-level up mga kapatid. Baka madali tayong mag-isip.
In Acts chapter 19 verse 20, so the message about the Lord spread widely and had a powerful effect. So pagdating naman sa discipleship at saka sa evangelism. So in-intensify pa natin yung mga kapatid? Or baka hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin natin magawa na mag-share sa roommate natin, sa workmates natin, even to the member of our family. Kasi kapatid, sabi dito, had a powerful world effect. The word of God, the gospel, has a power. Hindi naman tayo magbabago sa buhay or sa karakter ng tao si Sharon natin, hindi po ba? Hindi ang Panginoon. The God's power. Kaya magtiwala tayo mga kapatid. And in Acts chapter 10, verses 42 to 43, sige, basahin po natin para medyo mabuhayan tayo. And they ordered us to preach everywhere and to testify that Jesus is the one appointed by God in the presence of all, believing in the Lord. He's the one of the prophets who has died at So mga kapatid, ang sinasabi niya, preach everywhere, or preach, or dare to preach, hindi lang mga kapatid yung nakatayo dito sa public. That only the one who is standing here, preaching here in public. Even you, when you preach the word of God to your friend, to your co-worker, that's preaching. At yun mga kapatid ay utos. So sino yung ipipreach mo? Kilala ba natin yung ipinig dapat natin ipreach mga kapatid? He is the one appointed by God to be the judge of all. Siya daw po mga kapatid dapat ang yung judge. Siya lang yung may dapat ang mga judge. And He is the one who will redeem us from our sins. Di ba pag mag update tayo sa buhay natin? Sa status natin? Di ba buhay na buhay tayo? Or excited tayo na share? I'm in a relationship now. I'm engaged now. But how about our relationship to our Lord and Savior? Magiging proud ba tayo na i-share yung sa iba? And have the best relationship with whom? Hindi na nalungan Lord. Hindi sinungali. Hindi pa asa. Nakaka-deliver mo ang sigil lang. And the fourth one is, this is the fourth truth, mga kapalit, na nais na iparating ng Lord sa atin. Number four is, basahin po natin ng malakas. No, 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 the third one. Again, we will return and give him the account. So, yan mga kapatid sa final. We will return and give him the account. Ano ba yung ginawa ng 72 disciples sa Luke chapter 10 verse 17? When the, the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. So, ganyan ba tayo kung magre-report tayo sa Lord? Yung reporting tayo, mga kapatid. O, oh, may pinagawa siya. 
Binigyan ka niya ng tulong para magawa mo yun. Binigyan ka ng pagkakataon para magawa yung isang Lord sa iyo. On your quiet time, ano yung nire-report natin sa Lord? Lord, I'm sorry, I'm disappointed you. I refuse to do what you ask me to do. Kasi Lord, natamayin niya ako, Lord, eh. Mga naman kasi ilipin niya ako, Lord. Kasi allergic sila sa church, eh. Hindi ko talaga sila may invite. Or excited ka sa quiet time mo kasi i-re-report mo sa Lord. Lord, ang gawa ko. I'm so amazed with you. Hindi ko ang kalahin, Lord. Makakapag-worship din ako. So, matalang nabuti sa Lord. I'm shaking it. we are able to do those things na we're not able to do before. Lord, change mo for our Lord, pero kahit isang stick na lang ano, ayaw ko na. Lord, adik talaga ako sa sabong. Pero how amazing you are. No, wala. Yung desire ko doon. Doon, gusto ko talaga maraming girlfriend. Ayoko ka nang nabubasted ako, Lord. Kapatid, yun ba yung re-report natin pag bumalik ang Lord? Lord! I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can count. No friends I had. Boyfriends I had. Pero may reminder din ng Lord sa mga disciples back then. Nangire-remind din po tayo din. Sa Luke chapter 10 verse 20, But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. So mga kapatid, lahat ng tao, gusto magpunta sa langit. Amen ba? But it's, ano mo lang mo, nakakapagtakano. All people wanted to go to heaven, but, they refuse to have a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Eh, sino ba yung daan? Sino ba yung katotohanan at sino ba yung buhay? So mga kapatid, yan siya sabi ng Lord. Kung marami na kayong nagagawa ngayon na hindi niya na kayang gawin back then or before, huwag yun yung ipag- Ano yun? Huwag yun yung ikagalak natin. But the truth that our names are registered in heaven. We are saved. Question mga kapatid. Are you sure with yourself that you are saved? Tapos kung ba-wonder kayo, hindi 
itsura sa heaven? Ano kayong itsura ko sa heaven? Sabi ko, wala na doon doon ka, no? <laughs> Tapos, ano daw, uh, hindi na raw fear yung complexion natin doon. <laughs> And in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. Basahin natin mga kapalit. Wala tayong may tatago sa mga yun. Ang lahat ng bagay ay lantag sa kanya. Kaya hindi ko pwedeng sabihin na, Lord, hindi ko naman ang ginawa eh. No. Wala nga nakakakita sa'yo. Nakakuha mo tao. Pero kita-kita ka ng mga ito. Lord, 180 lang naman eh. Hindi naman ito. Lord, white line lang naman eh. Mapakaliit man yan o malangit ka sa lalo. In Romans chapter 14 verse 12 Naksa natin mga kapatid Each of us will give a personal account to God And I believe ito yung aim natin or goal natin Si Yesis Masahin na po natin so are we looking forward for that moment that it will encounter our God face to face? And He will tell us, well done. Let's celebrate together. Sabi mo rin sa sarili mo. Intensify. Intensify. Sa mga tagong pangalala. Intensify is this. So let us remember these four truths. You were called by God. You were given power and authority. You were sent. And you will give him the account when he returns. So yun mga kapalit na wak. Yung palagi natin isipin. Let's pray mga kapalit. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word today, O oh God. We thank you for reminding us that you are the whole powerful God among us. That when we say yes to you, O oh God, you will equip us. And you will help us when we preach the gospel waters. And Lord, that will come that you will return and we will give you that time. May you find us faithful, still faithful, Panginoon, sa iyong pagbalik, Lord. Kaya nga, Panginoon, sa lahat ng aming mga natutunan, for all those things we learned in the past eight months, O Lord, and to continue to teach us, O Lord, for us to do all this. To give you glory, to give you honor in our lives. Panginoon, tuloy nga, we can do nothing without you. May na paragad, mawa sa buhay natin lahat na nari dito. Patuloy na, tulungan mo ka dito. Lord, 
maging more extreme ka ni Lord. Sa response ng Lord God, sa so, mga bagay na nais mo sa buong Lord. Lord, tulungan mo kami na huwag maging tamad. Tulungan mo kami, Lord God, na mapagod man kami pero hindi kami susunod mo, Lord. Yes, there are moments that we are discouraged. We experience disappointments, Lord God. But you are faithful, God. And it's a privilege to follow, to obey you, and to serve you alone. Lord, 